Chapter 1 Historical Antecedents in the Course of Science and Technology Part 2 So now proceed to the Greek Civilization. What are the Greek contributions? Just remember the acronym OW. A stands for Alarm Clock. W stands for Water Mill. First is the Alarm Clock. The purpose of this alarm clock was to tell an individual when to start and when to stop. Usually, this alarm clock was used to signal the start and end of a lecture, which made use of sun or water that dropped into drops that sounded the signal of the alarm. Second is the water mill. Now, this water mill addressed the problem in mass production. The difference between the wheel of Sumerian and the water mill made by the Greek is that the wheel of Sumerian is manually operated, while the water mill of the Greek requires access to rivers or flowing water which mills grain automatically in mass. Next is Roman contribution. Just remember the acronym NBAN. N stands for newspaper. B stands for Bound books or codex. A stands for architecture. N stands for numerals. The first newspaper developed by the Roman were known as gazettes. These gazettes were engraved in metals or stone tablets, which publicly display. When Egyptian was able to invent paper from papyrus, it was now easy for the Roman to publish news. For the attention of the Roman citizens. One of the contributions of Roman is Codex or Bound Book. The first cover made by the Roman was made of wax, but unfortunately it was replaced by an animal skin because it proved to be stronger and longer lasting. Another contribution made by the Roman is Roman numerals. However, this old system was no longer widely used today because of its numerical limitations. Lastly is the Roman architecture. Uh, this structure made by the Romans still amazes the people today because of architectural design that proved to be stronger and majestic that can be withstood with the hard elements of the environment. Some of the infrastructures in the Philippines were based on this architectural design, such as in the Supreme Court, Post Office, and National Museum. Let's now proceed to the Chinese civilization and their contributions. Just remember the acronym SDT. S stands for silk. G stands for gunpowder. G stands for Great Wall of China. And T stands for tea production. One of the contributions made by the Chinese is silk. This silk addressed the problem of mass production in terms of paper and clothing. Another one is the tea production. This addressed the problem in terms of health. Chinese believes that this tea is good for health. Furthermore, China became known for its tea production exports aside from its silk production. Next is the Great Wall of China, which is the only man-made infrastructure that can be seen from the outer space. This was constructed for safety and protection, especially to keep out foreign invaders from entering China. These walls were made of stone, bricks, wood, earth, and other materials. Lastly is the gunpowder. This gunpowder was accidentally made from mixing charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate. Instead of creating an elixir of life, they accidentally invented a black powder that produces a large amount of heat and gas in an instant. Let's now proceed to the most innovative contributions made in medieval period. Just remember the acronym PM. TW. P stands for printing press, M stands for microscope, T stands for telescope, W stands for war reference. 
First is the printing press. This addressed the problem in mass production in terms of communication, particularly in newspapers. This printing press utilized wooden machines that extracted juices from fruits. Attached to this particular printing press was a mental impression of leather. Next is microscope. This addressed the problems in terms of health. The invention of microscope was the key in the discovery of new means in preventing and curing illnesses such as bacteria. In this stage, doctors can now see what causes certain sickness or diseases. Third is the telescope. Using this invention was one of the key factors to address problems in navigation. This has been used by the ship captains that needed to see far and wide areas in order to avoid dangers at the sea. Lastly, the war weapons. This addressed the concern in safety and protection. Of course, soldiers need to protect themselves. This was addressed by creation of an iron body armors. However, these iron body armors were so heavy and limits the movement of the one who is wearing it. This problem was eventually solved by the invention of chainmail armor, which are lighter compared to iron body armors. Next is the modern times. Just remember the acronym PTC. P stands for pasteurization. P stands for petroleum refinery. T stands for telephone. C stands for calculator. Pasteurization is a process of heating dairy products to kill harmful bacteria that causes certain diseases. Also, this process allows dairy product to be stored and consumed for a longer period of time. Next is petroleum refinery. Petroleum refinery was able to be invented through refining of kerosene. Petroleum refineries change crude oil into petroleum products for use as fuels for transportation, heating, paving roads, and generating electricity, which is widely used today. The discovery of telephone addressed the problem in terms of communication, especially the important day-to-day -day transaction that must be discussed and addressed at the fastest time during emergency. This invention was one of the major inventions made during modern times. Lastly, the calculator. This invention made computation and arithmetic calculation easier. The creation of this calculator paved the way in the development of more complex processing machines like computer. Let's now move on to the last part of the chapter. The Philippine Inventions. Just remember the acronym SME. S stands for Salamander on Previous Tricycle. S stands for salt lump. M stands for medical incubator. M stands for mosquito ovicidal larvicidal trap system. And E stands for e -gypne. First, let's talk about the salamander on previous tricycle. This invention can cross not only flooded streets, but also rivers and lakes. It may also utilize the travel from one island to another island. This invention was made to address the problem in transportation, particularly in highly urbanized flooded area such as in the city of Manila, Valenzuela City, and Marikina. Next invention is salt lamp, also known as sustainable alternative lighting. This invention was made to utilize materials abundant in the Philippine salt water. This salt lamp is an eco-friendly light source that emits no toxic gases. Moreover, this is specially made for Filipinos in rural areas with no power supply and Filipinos who have resorted in using candles and kerosene lamps that carry certain risks of fire hazards. Third is the medical incubator made by Dr. Fedel Mundo, who is a Filipino pediatrician 
and the first Asian woman admitted into Harvard Medical School. Dr. Del Mundo's incubator was made from cheap materials that includes placing a native laundry basket inside a bigger one. Hot water bottles were inserted between these baskets to provide oxygenations. This incubator was an innovation particularly made in rural areas in the Philippines. Fourth is the Mosquito Ovisidal or Larvisidal Trap System invented by the Department of Science and Technology. This trap system is made from organic ingredients that are lethal to mosquito but safe for humans because using insecticide is harmful not only for humans but also in the environment. Lastly, we have the electronic jeepney or e-jeepney. This modern type of jeepney utilizes an electricity instead of more expensive diesel. This modern type of transportation is eco-friendly that emits no smoke or noise.